Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how AssignMessage policy remove API elements uh, functionality works. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apigee platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apigee Edge account, you can sign up at apigee.com slash edge. You need basic understanding of Apigee API proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Let's say whenever a request uh, comes from the client, like a mobile application or Google Home or any IoT device, and you would like to validate a few uh, parameters and then you want to remove those parameters before you are sending the request to backend. For example, in scenarios like where you want to do validations and uh, of an API call and you want to remove the parameters before sending it to the backend. Implementing these things at the backend will take a lot of time, but in Apache Edge, you can do it in no time. And also, for example, scenarios like where you are getting a security key as an OAuth access token, but your backend accepts only like basic authentication. So in Apache Edge, you can receive the API parameters, you can validate it, and then you can remove it before you are sending the same request to the backend. You can able to do that using a SendMessage policy. Similarly, in the response, if you want to remove any elements like response headers or response parameters, you can able to do that similarly using AssignMessage policy. Let's see how it works in action. Let's say uh, I have a sample API here, httpbin.org slash post, which is a simple post echo request. So I'm sending a few form parameters like hello and foo, right? And then what I want to do is I want to validate hello world and I want to remove this form parameter before sending the same request to the backend. So let's see how to remove the elements in Apache Edge using a SendMessage policy. As you can see here, I'm logged into Apache Edge. Let's quickly create an API proxy to demonstrate how a SendMessage policy remove API element works. Navigate to proxies, click on plus proxy. I'm gonna create a new proxy using reverse proxy. I'm gonna give the name as a SendMessage remove demo. I'm going to name it as v1 slash am remove demo. Update an existing API. Make sure it is http colon slash slash http bin dot org slash post. So this is the backend endpoint. Click on next. Choose pass through and uh, choose the defaults. Build and deploy the proxy. Once the proxy is deployed, you will get an API proxy endpoint, which you will be exposing to your clients. Typically, it uh, looks like with Apache.net, but you can white label it using api.yourcompany.com. So let's make an API call to the same uh, proxy endpoint. So I'm going to make an API similar post request uh, to the proxy endpoint, and I'm going to choose uh, same parameters: hello world, and then foo bar. Let's make an API call to the proxy endpoint. As you can see, you got the same response uh, that we have seen from existing API. But let's try to remove this form parameter before we send the request uh, to the backend uh, system, which is nothing but http bin.org slash post. Let's see how to do that using a SendMessage policy. So click on develop. Since we want to modify the request, I'm going to attach a SendMessage policy to preflow request. So choose the SendMessage policy and name the policy as uh, am uh, remove foo form para and uh, click on the policy and uh, let's try to remove the form parameters so i'm going to remove everything except uh, remove element in the policy so since we are trying to remove form parameters so i'm going to say form parameters name foo then save the API. Now, even though client sends uh, the foo form parameter, we are removing it before the request is sent to the target system. Let's test that out. So, same API call. I'm gonna make an API call with foo is equal to bar, but we should not see foo bar in the response. There you go. Foo is equal to bar is gone, even though client is sending the request. So that's how the remove API elements works in a send message policy. Similarly, you can remove query parameters, headers, or even payload. Hope it is helpful for you. Please subscribe to YouTube channel and uh, share these videos with your colleagues. If you have any questions, please post same in community.apache.com. Thank you.